Hello. In this short video, I want to take a look at how I can configure the different settings, uh, configuration settings within Chocolate GUI from the command line. So let's go ahead and jump in. So here I've got Chocolate GUI open, and if I uh, go to the settings screen, I can see that there are a couple of settings here uh, that I can change. So if I wanted to change how long uh, package icons are cached on them on disk or the default source name, then I can absolutely, you know, I can come in here and I can change them directly within the user interface. And that's great, uh, but I might also want to be able to change those uh, from the command line as well. So let's use this uh, default source name as an example. So I go ahead and close this and I run uh, chocolatey GUI CLI uh, config list. What it's going to show me is it's going to show me the current values for both of those settings. So we'll see here that the uh, cache duration is 60 and the default source name is currently empty. So if I wanted to set uh, the uh, default source name, uh, I can run the help command here and I can see what the uh, commands are. So in order to, I can get a specific value or I can set a specific value, or if I wanted to unset it, meaning set it back to the default, then I can run that. So the one that I would be interested in would be, for example, the set command. So down here, if I run uh, chocolate GUI set and the name is gonna be the default uh, source name, and I'm gonna give it a value and I'm gonna say chocolatey. So that's the uh, one of the sources that I have available. I'm going to say that I want to set that to chocolatey. So it's saying it's updated that value. And if I go back and I run chocolate config list again, uh, I'll be able to see now that that default source name is chocolatey. So if I run chocolatey GUI now, uh, that source that setting that default source name has an effect of uh, meaning that when chocolatey first chocolate GUI first opens, it'll go to that source rather than the the default, which is the this PC. And if I go up into settings, I can see that that setting has indeed been set. Now, one of the the main reasons that we created the chocolate GUI CLI was to allow administrators to set the values at a global level. So that command that I ran there has only changed it for the currently logged in user. It hasn't set it for everyone on the machine. So it could be that as an administrator, I want to run uh, the, that, that command for everyone on the machine. And I want them to uh, have the chocolate community repository as the default source when chocolate GUI opens. So I can run the exact same command and I can add an additional option, which is global. And if I run that, that means that it will then be set for all users on the machine. So if I go ahead and sign out of this machine as the administrator, and if I log back in as a non-administrator user, so I'm gonna to switch to my non-admin user, and I'm gonna put in the password here. If I now run Chocolatey GUI from, for this user, I'll have that same uh, default source name of Chocolatey, meaning that as soon as the application opens, um, the chocolate community repository will be shown to the user. So it's all about the ability to set the values at the machine level, but also if you choose to, you can uh, allow users access to that chocolate config command, a uh, chocolate GUI uh, CLI config command so that they can set things themselves as well. Now, by default, uh, in this uh, the latest release of Chocolatey GUI, we don't allow uh, non-admins access to the settings, so they wouldn't be able to change that. And if they did try to run Chocolatey GUI CLI at the command line, so let's say I wanted to try and change that value. So if I wanted to change the uh, default source name to be something else, and let's say I wanted to change it to be uh, some fictional Bob source, then because I'm not an admin on the box, I'm not allowed to do that. So the, there are restrictions in play uh, that allow uh, or, or rather prevent non-administrator users from making those ch changes. So out of the box, you as an administrator can set up Chocolate GUI uh, in a way that um, is the way that you want people to run Chocolate GUI uh, in terms of uh, default features, how which ones are enabled and disabled, and uh, configuration settings like this uh, that they wouldn't then be able to change. 
Now, if you did want to allow non-administrators to be able to administer those settings, there is obviously a feature that will enable that. And again, you can run that uh, globally so that all users will be able to access, uh, uh, access it as well. Um, so that was, uh, I think that's all I wanted to show in terms of the functionality of the chocolatey GUI CLI config command. Uh, so if there are any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. Uh, but hopefully this has been useful. Thank you very much.